Hello, I'm Ron Amos with Embraco, the distributor of John Deere NetWrap. And to most people, these three bales look alike. But for those people that know baling, they can spot the difference right away between hay, straw, and stover. Unfortunately, many growers who know the difference between hay, straw, and stover treat these crops the same when it comes to wrapping bales. The results of that mistake can be disastrous. So today, I'd like to share some ways to make and store better round bales, regardless of the crop you're baling or the brand of baler you're using. First, let's review why bale shape is so important. A solid cylinder shaped bale with uniform density will shed moisture better, giving you better crop protection. Bales that are straight across the top also store and transport better. Plus, there's uniform pressure on the net across the full width of the bale. To make a uniform bale, follow directions in the recommended baling guide section of your operator's manual. Barrel shaped bales are an issue because they put higher pressure on the net and increase the risk of net failure. The net can also be damaged if the baler gate opens too fast. Be sure to set the tractor's hydraulic flow to the recommended five seconds for the gate opening. This will allow the bale to gently roll out of the bale chamber and not damage the net. Now let's discuss the number of wraps needed on a round bale. Think of the crop inside the bale like a spring pushing out against the net. Different types of crops exert different spring pressures. Grass or alfalfa used for hay or silage exerts the least spring pressure. Two complete wraps of net are generally enough to hold grass or alfalfa hay bales together during storage. Straw or hay made from cereal grains exert substantially more spring pressure. The drier the straw, and the shorter the straw, the more spring pressure pushing out against the net. That's why straw bales or cereal grains made into hay need at least three wraps of net. Tough, coarse, heavy stem crops like corn stalks, sudax, or milo need even more net to securely hold bales together. We recommend at least four wraps of net for corn stover bales. So to review, at least two wraps of net for hay, three wraps for straw, and four wraps for stover and other coarse crops. These are minimum recommendations. If you store bales outdoors for more than a year, you may want to add an additional wrap. To change the number of wraps on a bale, simply change the setting on your baler's monitor. After you have set your monitor and made a bale, get off the tractor and confirm that the correct number of wraps are actually going onto the bale. Make sure the wrap goes completely around the bale and overlaps the starting point by one and a half to two feet. Applying an extra half wrap of net is really a waste. There are several reasons why your monitor setting may not apply enough net. When baling at less than rated PTO speed, some monitors will not accurately display the amount of net going on the bale. For example, older John Deere balers without a speed compensation kit will apply less net when the operator reduces the PTO speed. Check the number of wraps chart in your baler operator's manual to see how PTO speed will impact the amount of net applied. Then set the monitor accordingly. The number of wraps may also be wrong because the monitor may not accurately show the true bale diameter. Oversized bales not only get less net than the monitor shows, they also can damage your baler. Check your baler's operator's manual under Adjust Bale Diameter Sensor for the steps needed to get the monitor to display the actual bale size. Having the correct number of wraps on a bale won't do you much good if poor handling practices damage the net. Bales that are skidded along the ground or onto bale movers will have weakened or torn net. Drive slowly into the bale and then lift the bale high enough to clear the ground during transport. Net can also be damaged before it ever gets in your baler. Keep rolls of net stored indoors and in their original packaging. Keep rolls away from agricultural chemicals. And use care during transport. Bouncing around in the back of a pickup is a good way to damage net before it ever gets to your baler. Let's review those recommended minimums one more time. Hay, at least two wraps. Straw, at least three wraps. Stover at least four wraps. I hope you found these baling and wrapping tips helpful. By choosing John Deere Net, you've selected the highest quality net wrap on the market. Make the most of that investment by reading the operator's manual. 
paying special attention to the baling and wrapping recommendations. You can get more information on John Deere Net Wrap by visiting ambraco.com.